BBC Newsline, we've been asking our viewers e-panel what they think of the plastic problem. Of the almost 600 people who responded, 74% told us the government should introduce a plastic bag tax. Another 95% believe supermarkets use far too much packaging in their products. In the second part of our Waste Not, Want Not series, BBC Newsline's Julie McCulloch asks whether our local environment minister should be doing more to end the plastic bag blight. Walk down any street in Northern Ireland and you're sure to see one thing, people carrying plastic bags. There are few of any shops that don't use them, yet so far our councils don't recycle them. We can't recycle them for a number of different reasons. The first one would be um, it could cause an issue at our, our MRF, our sorting plant. Uh, it's lots of moving machinery and the plastic bags can easily get wound around those. And we've had situations where the whole plant can be brought to a standstill for a couple of hours because of this. In terms of our box collection service, uh, it's really a capacity issue. People have so many plastic bags in their households these days. If we, if we started collecting them, it would be an issue with space. And most of them end up here at Dargan to become landfill, taking hundreds of years to break down. Others are scattered over the countryside or left to clog up our waterways. In fact, this leatherback turtle found in Strangford Lock last month had eaten a plastic bag, mistaking it for a jellyfish. Although it wasn't the cause of death that time, it has been known to kill others. On average, each of us uses around one plastic bag a day. Now, over the year, that all adds up. But you don't have to throw it out. Or, if you're like me, stuff it in a cupboard under the sink. Because some of the supermarkets where we get these bags in the first place are now taking them back. Here at Sainsbury's, they are recycled into low-grade plastic items like bin liners. But most shoppers at the store had other uses for their bags. To be honest with you, I would, I would use them, I would throw some of them in the bin straight away. Uh, we put our rubbish in it. We use plastic bags for our, we have a stove at home, we actually need them to put the, you know, the ashes and stuff in, so it's quite handy to have them. But some think we could definitely do without them. Plastic bags have only been around since the mid-1960s, uh, and certainly before we had plastic bags come on the market in such a way. We were perfectly able to get our groceries and goods home from the supermarket. A plastic bag tax is a very simple, effective, visible way that the citizens of Northern Ireland can be reassured that the Assembly and Arlene Foster, the Minister for the Environment in particular, is showing real leadership. But until something changes, Shirley Lewis, or the bag lady as she likes to be known, will continue to wear the thing she hates most in the hope that people will stop using them. Julie McCulloch, BBC Newsline.